Hello, my name is Joe Haverman. I'm an independent consultant and trainer for open science and communication and research management at Access to Perspectives. And I'm also a co-founder and coordinator at Afric Archive. In today's input or proposal, we would like to um, suggest to use SDG indicator codes as metadata and in institutional repositories and scholarly indexing systems. Um, scholarly stakeholders are increasingly advocating for and working towards the achievements of the SDGs. And most, if not all, research is addressing one or several of the SDGs in one way or the other. Um, so some of the stakeholders I'd like to point out are you current um, is or one of the initiatives is the Times Higher Education Impact Rankings, um, which are being called out um, every every year where universities are being ranked by their commitments and activities towards the SDGs. And on the right hand side panel, there are the eight um, South African universities have committed to the SDGs with the University of Johannesburg ranking highest at number 46, um, closely followed by University of Pretoria. Um, and then there is the SDG Publishers Compact, with, which is basically a commitment by publishers from around the world to the SDGs and um, signatories, meaning publishers, commit to 10 goals or activities rather, um, for example, stating sustainability policies and targets on their website, including adherence to the compact, um, actively promoting and acquiring acquiring content to put um, to put out or to um, to call for as publishers um, that advocates for themes re represented by the SDGs like equality, sustainability, justice, and so on, and so yeah, etc. There are twenty one African publishers who have signed the Publishers Compact so far. And many of these are actually scholarly publishers from across the continent. The Science, Technology and Medicine Alliance has built a guideline for an SDG sustainability roadmap, which you can tap into and follow through in adopting to the commitments, basically an action plan. And there's another action plan um, or a guideline by the SDG Publishers Compact Fellows, who, who are representatives by various publishers, and they work for many input um, and community uh, engagements. And they've put up uh, action tips for the various stakeholders and for academic librarians. There are several such as strategizing, advocating for the SDGs, um, identifying, reviewing, and reuse of work of library associations addressing the SDGs with examples, refining the metadata, which is what we're um, focusing on today. And also I want to point out the op for open, meaning advocating for open science practices, explicitly mentioning the UNESCO recommendations on open science, which you can find on the UNESCO website for open science, um, addressing Oh, which, which gives recommendations and also provides a toolkit for adopting open science practices, which you can also well put up on your website or at the library for researchers to tap into. So now here is a slide with an example of what the SDG indicators actually look like. And these have been developed and are being monitored by the statistics department at the United Nations, um, who is monitoring and working on the SDGs in um, particular. And zooming in, you can better see that, for example, here for goal one, there are several, just going back, I think there's like, uh, there's like seven um, targets within goal one alone. And the first three targets are being subdivided into four indicators. For example, target one to by 2030, eradicate extreme poverty for all people everywhere. Currently measured as people living on less than $1.25 a day. 
the, in, the indicator would be that the proportion of the population living below the international poverty line by sex, age, employment status, and ge geographic location um, would yeah, obviously go down. So that's then the indicator which a researcher and research team could investigate and um, yeah, conduct studies across disciplines um, to, yeah, to, to measure and um, strategize if this is actually happening and also to provide guidelines and guidance based on actual research and how this can be achieved anytime soon. And then highlighted here, you see the, the university indicator code, which can then be implemented as a metadata schema into the repository. So the suggestions that we'd like to propose for scholarly stakeholders would be, for example, for librarians and institutional research officers, research managers, to promote the adoption of the SDG indicator code across research activities, not, not explicitly the code necessarily, but indicators in particular, researchers would then include the SDG indicators into their research planning and proposal writing, and also into the data management plan. Research funders would advocate and encourage the adoption of SDG indicators to ensure that research activities fall into the relevant funding streams. And publishers, institutional repositories, scholarly literature databases would enable um, or provide the technology to allow for targeted and specific filtering and matching by SDG target and indicator. We are presenting Lens.org, the Lens as a use case. The Lens is a free data scholarly, um, scholarly literature database and also patent database, which is free to use, is open, <clears throat> and other than Scopus and Web of Science, which are predominantly used by researchers. Um, this one um, is openly accessible for anyone to use and investigate and search scholarly literature within. Um, so it's a free database with more than 260 million research works and patents listed. Um, it has a granular and advanced filtering option and allows for matching between scholarly records and patents. And with the lens, librarians can support researchers to accelerate problem solving. And the filtering system, here you see, um, for example, the, um, the drop down where, where you can search by subject matter and either then like in a, in a second level subject, um, field of study and others. And then from chemical substance name, you can further select and then already see how many research articles are listed for biomarkers, pro proteins, calcium, DNA, and so on. If we now add to this filtering system the SDGs, we would first have, the, um, at the first level, have the SDGs themselves, who would then diversify further into the specific targets. And then those are being um, shown well, for, for each target, then a researcher can search by indicator or librarian and therefore then see how many articles are, are listed in the database who show or address um, or basically have information on any of the indicators for the particular target within an SDG. Yeah, so we'd like to suggest that for food of thought and welcome your input, opinions, and suggestions with it. You can reach me either through Epic Archive or Access to Perspectives, and I wish you a great discussion with Lazarus and Daisy now, and have a good rest of the conference. Thank you.